Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers e-filing the NYS45 form, parts A, B, and C, using FSET in AMS payroll. To begin, the pair ABC payroll has been created. The pair's data has been entered and verified. First, open the payer in AMS payroll. If the tax payments are going to be made using the FSET system, the banking information needs to be set up. Also we need to make sure the payer's phone number is entered. Click Payer. Select Payer Edit. Select the Miscellaneous tab. Enter the payer's phone number. Click the Check Nicker tab. Enter the bank's 9-digit routing number. Click Edit. Enter the bank account number. The tax payments will be withdrawn from this account if they are included when e-filing. You can leave the default nickname or create your own. Click OK to continue. Click OK to save the banking information. Now we are ready to e-file the NYS45 form using FSET. Click Forms. Select C. Print State Quarterly Return. For your records, we recommend that you print out the NYS45 form to verify the data. Select 4. Print using software generated forms. Click Next. Select the quarter. Place a check beside File NYS 45 Parts A, B, and C using FSET. Click OK. Make the appropriate selections. Click Prepare. Enter the prepare information. The fields that are required when e filing using FSET are Firm, Name, Phone, Address, City, State, and Zip. SSN or P10 and EIN. Once all required data is entered, click back. Click OK. Enter the required fields, signer name, title, phone, sign date and email. Click OK. If there are tax payments, this screen will display. Verify that the payment amounts are correct. Check the unemployment and or income tax to include in the file. If the amounts are not correct, Cancel and recheck and or correct the information. If there are no payments due, this screen will not display. Once the payments have been selected, click OK to continue. We do recommend that you print and review a copy of the ENNYS45 form for your records prior to e-filing. Click Print. When prompted to post payments, make sure to do this only once. If you post the payments and then have to start the e-file over again, you will need to omit the posted deposits, first. Click OK. If the tax payments are included in the e-file, FSET will be added as a comment to the deposit screen. If both unemployment insurance and income tax payments are included, you will be prompted once for the UI tax payment and once for the IT tax payment. To post the unemployment deposit, click OK. Click OK to post the IT payment. The client letter can be printed and will reflect that the ENNYS 4545 was filed using FSET. It will also list the tax payments if any were included in the e-file. Click Print to continue or quit if you choose not to print the client letter. Next you will be prompted to submit the file via FSET. Double check and make sure the tax payments are correct. If you are unsure of e-filing at this time, click in now. Omit the posted deposits and begin the e-file process again. Click Yes to continue. At this point, the NYS45 information has been assigned a batch number and has been sent to the third-party vendor. Processing will not begin until the batch is confirmed. To confirm the batch, check the box in front of the batch number and click Pay Selected Batches. Once the batch is confirmed it cannot be cancelled and processing will begin. If you want the batch to be processed, click Yes. Click OK. Notice that the status has changed from unpaid to paid. Paid indicates that the processing on the batch has begun. As the batch goes through processing it will receive various itemized status messages, including queued, shipped and completed. If at any time a rejected status is received, the error in the batch will need to be corrected and resubmitted. Close the e-file services screen. The batch processing will take a few days. Because of this, we do recommend that you confirm the batch at least two days prior to the filing due date by 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
E-filing completed means that the state has received the file. In most cases, after the completed status, if the file has errors, the batch will get a rejected status within two business days. Otherwise, the completed status will be the final status received and will indicate that the batch has been finalized. To check the batch status, select Payer and then E-File Services. To update the itemized status messages, click on the batch number. The status messages will be updated. In this example, if a rejected status is not received within two business days of the filing complete status, the batch processing is complete. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Or please refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.